Beware of false prophets who come to you in the clothing of sheep, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. The Gospel of Matthew. Good morning. After I show you what Father James Martin has been saying and doing, you'll understand why people are calling him the Rainbow Jesuit, or a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is Fight Back. True pastors always lead souls to practice virtue. Pastors who really care about their flock never build bridges with sin or try to normalize impure vice. But, like a wolf in sheep's clothing, Father Martin is twisting 2,000 years of church teaching in order to favor the homosexual movement. Here are eight reasons to stay away from Father Martin. 1. Father Martin said Catholics should reverence homosexual unions. At Fordham University, Father Martin contradicted church teaching, saying, I have a hard time imagining how even the most traditionalist, homophobic, closed-minded Catholic cannot look at my friend in a same-sex marriage and say, that is a loving act, and that is a form of love that I don't understand, but that I have to reverence. 2. Father Martin supports transgenderism for children. Father Martin posted comments supporting a young boy who presented himself as a girl to receive religious education at a Catholic parish. When the parish offered to teach the boy as long as he presented himself according to his biological sex, Father Martin objected, calling the church's decision a scandal. In this case, Father Martin supported transgender confusion, which, according to the American College of Pediatricians, is a form of child abuse. Transgender ideology? Yes, it's child abuse because we are gaslighting our children. 3. Father Martin favors homosexual kissing during Mass. During a presentation at Villanova University, Father Martin told a practicing homosexual who attends Mass, quote, I hope in 10 years you will be able to kiss your partner in church or, you know, soon to be your husband. How can a Catholic priest promote sinful behavior during the Mass? 4. Father Martin would canonize a pro-homosexual nun. Speaking on the Jesuitical podcast, Father Martin said that Sister Gramic, a nun censured by the Vatican for her pro-homosexual activism, should be declared a saint. He said, I'm going to canonize Sister Janine Gramic. However, the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith permanently prohibited Sister Gramic, quote, from any pastoral work involving homosexual persons. 5. Father Martin welcomes award from group condemned by the USCCB. Father Martin accepted the Bridge Building Award from the pro-homosexual group New Ways Ministry. But New Ways Ministry was condemned by the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops in 2010 with a clear statement, quote, New Ways Ministry has no approval or recognition from the Catholic Church. Their claim to be Catholic only confuses the faithful regarding the authentic teaching and ministry of the Church." End quote. 6. Father Martin tweets blasphemy against Our Lady. Father Martin tweeted a blasphemous depiction of Our Lady of Guadalupe to 169,000 followers. The offensive image portrays Our Lady with a hiked up skirt, holding a snake, and stepping on an angel. As LifeSite News reported, the artist of the blasphemy wished to emphasize strength and power through the depiction of muscular thighs. The snake represents sexuality, the angel underfoot represents the patriarchy. Why did Father Martin amplify this attack against Our Lady? 7. Father Martin undermines church teaching with book Building a Bridge. Father Martin's book Building a Bridge and his public talks attempt to coax Catholics into accepting the sinful LGBT lifestyle. In fact, Sister Janine Gramic wrote a telling blurb for the book. Father Martin shows how the rosary and the rainbow flag can peacefully meet one another. The claim is so misleading because faithful Catholics know that the distance that separates the rosary and the rainbow movement is about the same distance that separates heaven from hell. There is no bridge. Just read Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. 8. Father Martin praises blasphemous rainbow rosary. On December 3, 2018, Father Martin posted a blasphemous parody of the rosary to 570,000 Facebook followers. He praised a rainbow-colored rosary called the Rosary of Modern Sorrows, which dedicates a decade to LGBT people. Furthermore, according to LifeSite News, proceeds from the sale of these rainbow rosaries go to pro-abortion groups. I've seen many rosaries like this, but this to me was the most beautiful, Father Martin stated. It was a beautiful gift that I've kept and used. As you can see, 
Father Martin's positions are not only at odds with the Bible, but also against natural law, papal documents, the Fathers of the Church, the Catechism of the Catholic Church, and countless saints. So what can we do about it? I can't tell you how many times I've met people who are discouraged about the crisis happening in the Church. They don't know what to do. But through it all, we need to stand faithful to God, His commandments, and 2,000 years of Catholic teaching. We need to proclaim the truth with charity, mindful of our Lord's promise that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. We also need to be vigilant and prayerfully opposed to Father Martin's errors. For example, at Misericordia University in Pennsylvania, Catholics protested Father Martin's commencement speech. When Father Martin spoke at Holy Name Cathedral in Chicago, 150 Catholics lined the sidewalk in peaceful protest. Although a snowstorm stopped Father Martin's lecture at the University of Cincinnati, young Catholics showed up anyway for a public rosary rally of reparation. Father Martin was entrusted souls on the day of his ordination. He needs to take that very seriously, not only for his own eternal soul, but the souls that have been entrusted to him on the day of his ordination. Archbishop Schnur should have stopped this, whether it was on a public university, a Catholic university, but he should have came out and said, no, he should be standing here with us. He should be praying here with us. When Father Martin delivered a commencement address at Catholic Spring Hill College in Mobile, Alabama, dozens of Catholics organized a peaceful protest at the gates of the campus. Our Lady, uh, she warns us that more souls go to hell for uh, sins against the Sixth and Ninth Commandment, sins of the flesh, than uh, anything else. So she warns us, you know, to live chaste lives, and that's primarily what Father Martin promotes is uh, sins of the flesh. It, it sends mixed signals. And I think by our being here, showing the true Catholic principles, it brings clarity to it. Catholics also protested Father Martin's commencement address in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm a graduate of Loyola. I'm outraged that they have invited Father Martin to speak to these young people who are now starting a, their whole new life. Um, I, I just, I, I'm very upset. In Atlanta, Georgia, faithful Catholics held a rally of reparation while Father Martin delivered his pro-homosexual talk at the Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. Another protest was held at Dalesford Abbey in Paoli, Pennsylvania. And finally, scores of local Catholics protested Father Martin's pro-LGBT talk at Sacred Heart University in Fairfield, Connecticut. Father Martin's always talking about compassion and respect, but the people going into his lectures they're the exact opposite. Outside St. Ignatius Church in Baltimore, Maryland, people attending Father Martin's talk showed little respect for us. This is a stupid ass <laughs> focus on. It's stupid <laughs> like this, that this country is We have enough children, enough people. So what nature is doing now is that they're men are attracted to men. Not every man, not every woman. It is, no, I say that because we have enough, we have enough, we have a lot of men and women that are attracted to each other. I believe that scripture may have been divinely inspired, but the church has decided, well, this is the scripture that I want you to believe. So you don't accept the authority of the church? Oh my God, are you kidding? No way! So you, so you, make, no up, way. So you make up what you want to believe. You make up your here's, own religion. Here's, yes. Here is what I believe. It is in my heart. One pro-homosexual advocate even attempted to rip our banner down. What do you think? What? Aggressor! 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 With all these temper tantrums, you have to wonder, where's the respect that Father Martin preaches so much? Because of the confusion and ambiguity promoted by wolves in sheep's clothing, we repeat what the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches regarding homosexuality. Quote, Basing itself on sacred scripture, which presents homosexual acts as acts of grave depravity, tradition has always declared that homosexual acts are intrinsically disordered. They are contrary to the natural law. They close the sexual act to the gift of life. They do not proceed from a genuine, effective, and sexual complementarity. Under no circumstances can they be approved. The best thing we can do is to stand strong, and we don't need to lose hope because we have 2,000 years of church teaching to back us up. Please caution others about Father Martin's errors by sharing this video. And as always, thank you for watching, and God bless.